Football's just always been something that I've loved. I've loved the game since I've been five years old and had an opportunity to play when I was almost 40 and it just kind of kept rolling from there. So um, I've been very blessed in all the programs uh, that I've had an opportunity to coach with and it's just kind of it's a dream that I just keep getting these steps put in front of me and I, I would recommend anybody follow their dream but especially in football right now I think it's wide open for women if you do it the right way and really get the education and be mentored by wonderful coaches at great programs um, should propel you forward. I think it's difficult for anybody to pursue coaching full-time um, you have to understand there's sometimes no pay at all. Um, there's a lot of volunteer opportunities but you have to be willing to put that time in and you know as a woman as a mother uh, for the last 10 or 13 years it's been a struggle and it's a balance sometimes that you know my family had to come first and that was okay but you know I'm at a point right now my sons are grown um, they're doing well on their own and I'm able to put the time in but it, it's not easy. Um, there's been plenty of times I've driven hundreds of miles or done things with absolutely no return other than to be around great coaches and great programs and get the education. Um, so it's hard but if you want it and you align yourself with the right people and you stay on track and stay focused, again I think women or men, I mean that's what coaching is all about. You just have to put in the time and the work. For the, for the Ravens, um, just the opportunity to be around that level, to see athletes at that physical like nature, like the, the violence that I love about football was just, it was times a thousand. Um, and again, the coaches and the organization overall, how much time and effort so many people put into making that team work, to making that game day work, to making the travel work. That was very valuable. Um, I, I just feel like, you know, sometimes you think football, 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 but you don't see the business side of it. You don't see the behind the scenes. You don't see the player personnel. So being able to sit in those meetings and listen to the coaches and get the technical side of it, I think that was the most valuable part for me. This is a dream. You know, it's 44 degrees and it's raining and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else <laughs> right now. Um, I, I feel like if you have that type of passion, you need to, you need to follow it. Um, so here we are, and here we are. <laughs> it's been a long time, and you know, I, you know, I went to Old Dominion Spring Football, and I drove halfway. I slept in my car. I drove down in the morning. I was there for a couple hours, and I drove the whole way home. And it was my, my money, my, you know, time. But you have to do things like that. Like you have to. I drove to Charlotte on my own to attend a conference. I mean. I used to drive three and a half hours to coach men in Virginia. Like, you have to know that it comes with that and you can't expect anything and just take everything as far as you can out of that experience. And hopefully people like this notice and your hard work gets noticed and then you're a coach. You're not just a woman trying to break into football. I never want to be seen like that. I just, I just want to coach. So, and stay out of the rain. <laughs>